Good morning. Uh, yes, it's one of those nighttime to daytime clips, and there's a very good reason for that. We were at Hever Castle so, so late last night. I'm going to start with the negatives. Uh, we had a timed ticket, and we went in. The queue was so long, it took us an hour and 30 minutes to get in after our timed ticket. So by that point, we were pretty bored and fed up. Um, the Then after we doing the first maze, which we'll talk about in a minute, we then went downstairs and there was easily another hour's queue to go through the next attraction. And there's absolutely no excuse for that. If you queued and batches are going through every five minutes from the main room, there's no reason why the second maze um, should also be a queue in an hour. Uh, and actually, some of the team left. Um, some of the team did not want to leave uh, Hever Castle at half 11 at night and then drive two hours home. Some of the team stayed and um experienced the uh the second attraction so that is the the moan uh we have spoken to the operational team uh not sure what happened last night they're saying that everyone came at the wrong time uh but yeah it was operationally it was chaotic nobody had a clue what was going on and unfortunately uh it really left a bad taste in the mouth right that's the bad stuff out of the way the good stuff is uh the first attraction is called the 13th uh the 13th picture the 13th um ghost um it was a, a very um atmosphere uh theatrical production um you know lots of um soliloquies you know lots of speeches you know the actors were excellent you know atmosphere always have really good actors um the story was that um they a um a ghost photographer had um somehow unleashed the ghost from his photos back into the castle and they had escaped and we went to see them through different things. There were a number of jump scares along there, big theatrical scene at the end. The castle itself, I've just got to say, the castle itself is absolutely beautiful. It's an amazing setting for a scare attraction. Even just approaching it from the outside, it looks really eerie, all lit up in green. The rooms are beautiful. Um, I think um, the, the first attraction really does take really good um, advantage of the beautiful house and what they've got there. And uh, yeah, it was a fun theatrical uh, experience with a number of scares. Um, and yeah, we enjoyed that. Um, then obviously ignoring the one hour queue um, for those who stayed for Substratum, uh, we were expecting Substratum to be a bit more intense um, and to be more of a short, sharp shock. Uh, it was still very theatrical, lots of speeches, lots of talking from the actors. Uh, it was generally more scarier. Uh, the final scene with the black goggles was excellent. Everyone uh, who, who went really enjoyed that. That was good fun. Um, lots of standing in, in like each room. We had to stand with your back to the wall in a certain place and certain things happen. And of course, because of the layout of the building, uh, they weren't able to just pump people through because sometimes you go into one room, a scene would play out and then you would leave that room and go into the next one. Um, so they are, again, it's operational issues. Uh, unfortunately, um, it did sour the night. Um, the, the mazes were excellent, but as we said, you know, we were standing queuing for a very, very, very long time. Um, so don't let that put you off. We've had some really good reviews from other people who were there on Wednesday night who said they just sailed through and they absolutely loved it. Uh, we just had a bad night. Uh, we have spoken to the team at the park. They have said they are going to try and address the issues, address the operational issues, and hopefully it will improve going better because it's really got um, a great atmosphere, um, some really fun scares, um, some fun mazes, and has really got uh, the, the opportunity to become some quite big in the area. So, um, yeah, let's get those operational issues sorted out. And uh, yeah, you've got a great event on your hands. So with that, we're going to sign off and uh, we're going to thank uh, Hever Castle and Atmosphere for inviting us down. Uh, unfortunately, as I've said, it's such a shame we had a bad we had a bad experience. Uh, but the mazes themselves, it just we we will do our review just on that. And uh, yeah, the mazes themselves were great fun, and uh, we look forward to seeing what they do next year.